Welcome back, my name is Guy, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Anchor Precision Marking Tools. I have an assortment of the tools here in front of me, and they're available as separate items or as sets. Let's take a closer look. So the Anchor Measuring and Marking Rules are available in different sizes. There's 6-inch models, 12-inch models, there's also an 18-inch model, which I don't have in front of me right now. All of these are also available in metric, which is pretty cool. What we're going to be looking at today is the Bend Rule, the Marking Rule, and the T Rule. Also, the protractor rule, and Inker also makes a small little three inch T rule, which is very cool. So let's take a closer look at the marking rule. As you can see, all the graduations are all etched in here. Very, very clear, very visible. Now on the top and bottom of the ruler, there's these holes right here that you can stick a pencil in that'll give you 32nd of an inch increments. There's also slots right here to easily mark those 32nd of an inch increments. So I'm just going to take a 0.5 millimeter lead pencil. You can see I can just put a mark here or a mark here like this very easily. And there are some big advantages to this. So this is a regular steel ruler and let's say I wanted to make a mark at 6 inches which is right here. I kind of have to sight down it and take my pencil and make a mark. The only problem with that is that it's parallaxing. So what I'm saying is the line is up here, the board is down here, and as I move my head either left or right, that line is going to move. It's not very accurate. So let's make that same mark at 6 inches with the anchor rule. First of all, the ruler lays flat so there's no chance of it parallaxing. Second, instead of putting the pencil in front of it and kind of putting it at 6 inches, I'm going to take the pencil, stick it in the hole for 6 inches, give it a little twist, and now I know that is exactly at 6 inches. There's also a little slot up here where I can make a mark and I've got two perfectly placed marks at six inches. Another nice feature of the rulers are the half slots at each end. So I can take my pencil, put in the mark I made before, move the ruler up to that, and let's say I need to make another mark at one inch, I can just take my pencil and make another mark at one inch. Again, perfect. Now this can also be used as a very effective compass. So I've just made a mark right here which is the center of my circle. Let's say I wanted to make a six inch diameter circle. So I'm going to put my tool in the one inch spot, drop it into that hole, go over here to the number four because I'm an inch up, and draw the circle out. And there you have it, a perfect six inch diameter circle. While these rulers are made out of steel and very, very durable and tough, I've had mine for probably six years now, they're also bendable. So if you cut this circle out and wanted to make some very accurate marks at specific points on this, you could do that very easily with this. Let's take a look at the bend rule. This is pretty cool, obviously, because it can wrap around a corner. Now, feature-wise, it does have holes marked every 32nd of an inch along the top and bottom, and also slots at every 16th of an inch. Now this tool is incredibly useful when you need to make marks on adjacent faces of boards. So I can just drop this down. Let's say I need to make a mark at 5 inches here and 7 inches here. No guesswork, very accurate. Now on one end of this, there's also graduations going vertically here in 32nd of an inch increments. So I can also take this, let's say, make a mark on an eighth inch here. and an eighth inch here and get that on both faces of the board. Another thing that this ruler really excels at is making marks on vertical surfaces. So let's say I need to make a mark down six inches here for let's say a cabinet slide. I can just put that in there, mark six inches. Actually I can make a mark on both adjacent faces. Now I have a very accurate precise mark at six inches on both the inside and the outside face. This is the Anchor 6 inch precision protractor. If these laser cut slots are at 5 degree increments. There's also special slots for 22 and a half and 67 and a half each side of 90. These are 1 degree and then on the outside you have half a degree. So let's say I need to make a 30 degree mark. All I have to do is create a known right angle line at 90 degrees. Then I can take this. If you see this, there's a little window right here. I can put that right in the crosshairs. I know this is perfectly at that point. And then I can just make a mark right here at 30 degrees. Now that I've got my 30 degree angle marked out, I can just take my ruler 
line up those points, draw a line, and I know that's perfectly 30 degrees from that point there. So not only does this precision protractor allow me to make very accurate, precise layout lines, let's say at 30 degrees, I can also use this to set up my equipment, which is something I do all the time. So I can just take my bevel gauge here, loosen it up, and set it at 30 degrees. Now I can take this over to my table saw, my miter saw, even my joiner, and set up that fence at a precise 30 degrees. Let's say I need to make a 30 degree mark off this line, but let's say it's one inch up and I don't have this edge to reference it off of anymore. So let me make a mark at one inch. Now with these nuts here, I can take off the T-bar completely. Now with the T-bar taken off, I can take this line here and this line here and use them as a kind of a crosshairs. Look through these viewfinders, built into the protractor head, line everything up, which is really easy, and make a mark at 30 degrees. Again, very easy, very precise. Next up is the Precision T Rule, and this is by far the most used marking tool I have in my shop. And like the other products I showed you before, there's multiple holes and slots to mark out different things in here. Let me zoom in a little bit closer and I can show you exactly what all these are. Now looking at this, you can see there's holes here marked for 30 seconds of an inch. There's also slots for 30 seconds of an inch and 16 of an inch. And actually it can go down to a resolution of a 64th inch. There's also a vertical scale going this way in 30 seconds of an inch and a horizontal scale going this way in 64 of an inch. One of the nicest things about using this is the efficiency at which you're able to make marks at. So let's say you want to make a mark at a half inch, then a one inch, and then another one at three quarters of an inch. You're not taking a combination square and moving it around and trying to get all those different measurements. So let's say I wanted to make a mark at a half inch. I just find the slot for a half inch. There you go. And let's say I want to make it one inch. And then I want to make it at three quarters of an inch. Pretty cool. Now I can also take this and let's say I just want to make a mark at one and a half inches. I can just put that in the slot there. And now I've got a mark at one and a half inches. This is also an incredibly accurate square. So let's say I need to make a line going this way three inches down. All I need to do is this, make a mark here at three inches, and there you go. I can also take this and just mark down, let's say, two inches, and go across this way. That would accomplish the same thing. Now let's say I need to make a mark to drill a hole that's one inch down and two and a half inches over. I can just go like this. Go to two and a half inches. Go down one inch. And I know that right there is exactly where I need to drill the hole. So I'm going to take the T-roll and I'm going to show you how efficiently, how precisely I can mark out a mortise in this board here without using a combination square or anything like that where I've got to make multiple setups. So I'm going to have a shoulder here and a shoulder here that's three-eighths of an inch from the, each edge. Now the board that's going to attach to this I know is two inches deep and I'm going to have a quarter inch shoulder on that side. So I need to mark one and three quarters. And then the shoulder drop down here is going to be a quarter of an inch. And this is the material that gets wasted away. So as you can see, the anchor measuring and marking tools are simple to use, accurate, and give you the ability to precisely measure and mark your project. And your project deserves the accuracy and precision that these tools can give you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.